Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use comparison operators and logical operators in Python. In the last few videos, I've been showing you how to use if else uh, statement in Python. And this is the continuation uh, you may say, but uh, these comparison operators and logical operators you can uh, not only use with these if else statements, but in general also you can use them so first of all comparison operators comparison operators as the name suggests we use for comparing values now there are these uh, comparison operators which are available in python which are less than and which is indicated by this symbol second is less than or equal to which is which are indicated by less than sign and equal to and greater than greater than equal to double equal to indicates that you want to check the equality and this exclamation mark equal to means that you want to check the non equality okay now there are some logical operator uh, operators which by which you can perform some logical uh, operations between uh, some values for example, you want to check, uh, you have two uh, variables and you want to check or two conditions and you want to check both the condition and you want that both the conditions has to be true, you use uh, AND condition and using AND condition, uh, it means that you are checking for all the conditions. In this case, we are checking this condition has to be true and this condition has to be true otherwise it will say false uh, in the opposite or the opposite of and is or not exactly opposite but the logically opposite of and is or uh, and or means either one condition is true then it will give you true so let's see how we can use it so first of all for example, you want to check the less than condition. I can just uh, copy this and in my shell I can run it and I can print. I want to print if this is true. Print true. Okay. And I will press enter two times. And this true has to be enclosed in double quotes right press enter and it says true because 9 is less than 10 right in a similar way I can check uh, these functionality but this time I'm not going to use if condition but yeah you can use all these operators with if conditions okay so for checking uh, less than or equal to we can just try uh, write directly right in the shell and press enter and it gives true okay so this means less than or equal to so 9 is less than uh, 10 so this condition is true so that's why it's giving true to us and always remember that you uh, have to use less than first and followed by this equal to let's see what happens when you say 9 equal to less than 10 and it gives syntax error so always use less than first and then equal to sign in order to avoid any problems. In a similar way, you can just check uh, the greater than. So if 9 is greater than 10, which is false, so it will give us false, right? 9 is greater than equal to 10, which is also false. And now we are checking the equality, which I have shown you in the last video, which is false. 9 is not equal to 10. and let's check if 9 is not equal to 10 this exclamation mark and equal to uh, checks for the non equality so it will be true yes and if 9 is less than we have already checked it okay now we have end condition right so for example i want to check whether 9 is less than 10 and 9 is not equal to 10 so i want to check whether these two conditions are true at the same time 
okay and i press enter and it gives me true and let's uh, let's check for some other condition so this condition is true in this case which is 9 is less than uh, 10 and this is also true because 9 is not equal to 10 so it gives true for example i delete this uh, not equal to and uh, write equal to here so one condition is false here which is 9 is not equal to 10 because we are checking for two condition to be true at the same time it will give me false because this condition is true but this is false right so whenever you use end operator your program expects that both the conditions or whatever conditions you are um, giving are true so you can even give three conditions for example i want to check the non equality and so it's not necessary that you only can only give two conditions you can even give three four five or whatever conditions okay and it's totally fine okay in a similar way you can use or to check whether either of the condition is true if this condition is true or this condition is true in this case both the conditions are true so it gives true but when we give this uh, statement where one condition is true which is 9 is less than 10 which is true but 9 equal to equal to or equal to 10 which is not true it will still give you uh, I have I must have used or here right because we are checking for or so it gives us true right so in this way you can uh, use comparison operators and logical operators there is uh, some more things uh, you can check uh, and these are is and in conditions or is and in operators whatever you want to say so for example i want to check i have a string string equals to equal to uh, what we can say a b c d e okay so our string equal to a b c d e and i want to check if uh, a is present in string or not so a in string and it gives us true so what this in uh, operator does is it checks whether this variable contains this uh, value or character or not uh, in in such way right so in a similar way you, you can search for b or c or any conditions okay so for example you want to check whether a b is present it gives us true but whenever you give a c it will give you false because a and c are not together present here now suppose you have two lists one list is called a is equal to uh, 1 comma 2 comma 3 and b equal to same list okay uh, b and there is uh, operator called is so whenever you we use a is b it will give you false but for example you declared a, a, a list c equal to d equal to 1 2 3 it will give you true because it checks whether these two or two two values are equal exactly equal or not these are these a and b are equal by values but they are not logically equal that's why it will give you false but this we have already you know assigned or uh, assigned c equal to d or we have assigned d to c equals this value that's why it will give us uh, true so let's check c is d and it will give us true okay 
So in this way, you can use logical operators, comparison operators, and is in operator in Python. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and bye for now.